raised significant funds today, largely from GM. What kind of capital do you need to bring this to life? Um, so we've raised uh, seven and a quarter billion dollars so far at Cruz. Um, that's you know obviously a lot of funding, and part of the reason that we've done that is to support a program such as this. You've said that it's time to move beyond the car. Right. As I said, a lot of that funding comes from GM. Is this a little bit like biting the hand that feeds? Uh, this is, look, we can tell that the world is going to go in this direction, right? Transportation today is broken. We need to get to an environment with more shared transportation, more electric transportation, more accessible transportation, and safer transportation. And this is the key to unlock all of that. Why jump straight in though? You, you've, you, you're not able to tell me when we'll see it on the streets of San Francisco or elsewhere in the US. Why not start at a lower level auto of autonomy and instead you've gone straight to level four, level five? Well, our goal obviously is to make transportation safer for everybody and, and the best way to do that is to remove the human out of the loop uh, and, to, and to get the self-driving performance to a superhuman level of capability. You, you talked about how this would be a more cost-effective solution for the consumer, right. even if they're a car owner or not a car owner. But who covers the shortfall? Because it's capital intensive building all these cars. Right, but the, the, the thing, as I mentioned, is that this vehicle will run 24 by 7. It'll run all day and all night. It's got a useful life of well over a million miles. And so the utilization of that capital, uh, that asset, if you like, is going to be extraordinarily high. And that's what allows us to deliver such a low cost proposition to the consumer. You talked a bit about the Honda partnership from 2018. You talked about GM's involvement on the powertrain. Is Cruise an independent company or is Cruise a GM company? Cruise is an independent company, but we're backed by awesome partners at, at General Motors and at Honda and a number of financial investors. Some of your competitors here in California uh, are also testing outside of the US, in China and in other parts of the world. Will we see Cruise Origin in China? What's your strategy for China? Um, so our strategy for Cruise Origin is for it to obviously to scale in the United States and to scale globally. Too soon to speculate on exactly on which markets and in what cadence, um, but our goal is to take this to very large scale. One of your grievances has been that under the pilot, you're not able to charge a fare. Uh, for consumers to use the service. Why was there such a focus for you guys on that? Uh, well, actually, we run a rideshare service today for all of our employees. But it's only open to employees, only, not the public. Only open to employees today, but obviously we have an opportunity to expand that. How convinced are you that there is a near-term opportunity in California for this to be commercially viable? Well, we know exactly what consumers have today, right? We know what you, your experience is today. We know what the cost of transportation is today. As I said, our goal is very, very simple, which is to deliver a better, better experience at a lower cost than your other alternatives. And if we can do that, we think we'll have really high adoption. Something else that you teased was a different use for the Origin, which was delivery, essentially, cargo. What's the plan for that and the timeline for that? Well, I think we've seen the whole world move online. We've seen uh, you know, delivery become a much bigger part of everybody's lives. And so just like we have an opportunity to improve you know, moving people around, we think we have an opportunity to make cargo delivery safer, more convenient, uh, and more efficient, more cost efficient as well. I have to ask you, what does this mean for General Motors? Because they have involvement with you in terms of building the powertrain, uh, but they also will continue to build consumer EVs, which you discussed in your presentation. Right. You, you know, you, given your past experiences, how do you see this benefiting them? Well, I think both these things will move in parallel. And remember, General Motors is still a majority investor uh, in Cruise. So as Cruise grows and becomes more and more successful, a majority of that benefit accrues to General Motors. When I talk to different market participants and, and analysts, they basically say the hardware's there, and you demoed some quite impressive hardware today. What they say is lacking is the software, the computing power to make this a convincing case. How do you assess your software relative to what else is out well, there? You saw in the presentation tonight, Kyle talked about the performance of our software and the fact that we're now driving thousands of miles between any kind of incident uh, through the streets of San Francisco. So in one of the most complex driving environments in the country, if not the world, you know, we're driving thousands of miles uh, you know, flawlessly with our software. Let's think lastly about the consumer experience. You, you discussed the app about, essentially this is a ride hailing service, but without a driver. You talked about the big picture cost saving, but what is an average fare that you expect to charge a customer for using Cruise Origin? Well, uh, obviously our objective is to deliver a better experience at a lower cost than what people are paying today. So it's, you know, it's hard to average or generalize, but if you think about what you'd pay today, our goal is to deliver something better than that. Do you see this happening first in California? Do you think that the regulator will make substantive moves to get your 
origins on the streets in a real time frame, the next year, the next two years? Uh, we're in discussions, obviously, with all of our regulators. You know, they're well aware of what we're up to. We'll have to see how things shake out.